Hello, so I'm going to be showing you how to create an EC2 instance and run it along with Python script. Pretty common use case if you have, for example, I had a Slack chat bot, maybe you have a Flask app, or you have something where you just want a, a script to be continuously running. Uh, so you can add that script to an EC2 instance and, and run it there, and it'll keep running even once you close the EC2 instance. So, so first, just go to EC2 and uh, we just want to launch an instance. So once you launch the instance, we need to give it an ex a name. So we'll just call it my example. Doesn't really matter what we call it. I like this option for the image, uh, Amazon Linux, uh, and it has free tier available. And the nice thing is you can connect into it virtually, so you don't need the key pair. You'll see what I mean by that in just a sec. These are the sizes we have. For us, we just need T2 Micro. All right, so then you need to new key pair and just give this a name and it will save a file. So this file is if you ever want to connect into this on a terminal or on your computer, you'll have to use that file. All right, so then we can just click uh, launch instance. Once it launches, go to the EC2 instance. So it's still pending. All right, so give that like five minutes until it finishes. So it took a minute or two and now it's running. What you can do is once you're in your instance, click on connect. And then uh, the nice thing with these uh, Amazon images, you can just directly click connect here. And I don't have to worry about that key pair or anything like that. And you can see we're already connected in. All right, so now let's go through the commands that we want to do. So the first thing you should do is sudo su, so we can use that uh, root root user. If you're not using the root user, you'll get a lot of issues with some of the commands we use. Then we should just uh, do yum update just to make sure everything's good. So let's check if we have Python 3. So we do. Let's check if we have pip. Um, okay, so we'll do yum install Python. 3-pip. Um, so yes. All right, next let's try and pip install some dependencies. Okay, good, so that works. So I did Python 3 space dash M space pip install pandas. So yeah, just make sure you uh, install pip like I just did. You have to run yum install Python 3 pip and then you'll be able to, to use uh, pip install. Yeah, I'm going to install one more dependency that we're gonna, that I'm gonna use in my script. So I'm installing uh, simpy. Okay, next thing, let's just make a folder. All right, so we're going to go into our folder that I just made, and now we need to make a script. So call it uh, nano mystrict.py. And directly here, I'm just going to type out our script. Port time, random, simpy will import is prime. Okay, so I finished writing my script. So just press uh, Control S to save, and then you can press Control X to exit. And uh, now let's just check if it's there. So we can see if I write ls, you have my script.py. Um, now to run this script, you can write Python 3 my script.py. So you can see it's running and it's every so often after sleeping, it's saying if it's a, a prime number. Now the problem with running it like this is if I close this, it's not going to be running anymore. The it's it's done. So for that we're gonna need no hub. So let's connect back into this. So right, uh, sudo su again, so we're in the root. And okay, we're going into testing. And now this time, right, no hub, Python 3, and then my script dot py, and then put an and sign after it. So now what's happening is, you can press enter again, it's running in the background. So if we want to see though the output, just to make sure that it's working, you can use a tail. 
tail nohub dot out. Okay, so sorry, there was just uh, some buffering issue. So I had to use nohub python3 uh, uh, dash u seem to fix it. Anyway, you can see now that it is working. So you can press control C now to exit out of this. Last thing that's important. So you can use this uh, grep python3. This is going to get all of the python3 uh, scripts that are running. And then you can kill them. So because I ran this uh, three times, I did uh, can see I did nohub python3 my script py a bunch of times. There's uh, multiple scripts running. We don't need all of them. Kill, uh, let's get rid of this first one, 3238, kill 3305. And then let's run this again to see what's running. So we just have uh, one here that's running. If I close this now, and then connect back into it. You can see our uh, Python 3 uh, script, myscript.py, is still running. Yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. I'm uh, going to end this here.